Hey guys, Josh Carter here with One Objective. We're going to be going over the SS-127 Bonafide. I'm going to go a little bit over everything, how I like to set it up when I'm out on the river or the lake, and, and things I like to do to make it a little more convenient for me. Uh, stay tuned. Hope this video can help you out. All right, guys. Well, we're going to go over the SS-127, show you how I like to set it up for when I go out on the lakes and the rivers. And here lately, I've been mainly fishing the lakes because we've had so much rain that the rivers have been getting blown out. So anyways, we're going to kind of go over how I like to set it up, places I like to keep some of my tools, all that, just kind of make things real convenient so I'm not searching around for tools at nighttime. That way I can get more cast in. I'm not playing around with just looking for stuff. So Anyways, let's go ahead and get into it and show you how I like to set it up. Alright, first off, we all know about the, the front hatch on the Bonafides. It's a really big hatch. you got a lots of room to put stuff in there. I'm not going to open it up right now because i got my stuff sitting on it. But most of the time, what I put in my hatch is just extra rods. Um, or if I have an extra life vest. A lot of times I wear my inflatable, um, my Mustang, but I also carry my NRS. Uh, if I'm fishing the river... I just keep my NRS on just because if I flip, I, ain't gonna worry. I got a better chance of flipping in the river. So, but being as bona fide, hopefully we don't have that issue. But, anyways, so like I, I like to keep my net up here on the front. I keep it right there. Uh, Yak attack net. It's easy to reach down and grab it. Uh, sometimes I can slide it further forward. You know that way you got your your leg room, all that. But a lot of times I'm standing when I'm fishing, so I got plenty of deck space right here. We all know the. Bonafides have got really, really wide deck space, but I keep that there. So when I grab, if I set the hook, it's easy to grab a hole too real quick. I'm not turning around trying to dig into my net, grabbing from my net, getting it hung up in rods or from casting, getting hung up in it. So it's always right here, ready to go, extended, and I don't, I just ain't got a problem. So next, got the Yak Attack paddle holders. I keep one right here. Bonafide has also got the, let's move this out of the way. It's got this here, so it acts as a paddle holder, but also like when you run your rods, if you like to run your rods up through here, sorry, right through here, it'll go up under there, or they can lay on top. Um, but I always just use them for my paddle right there. I only normally don't even keep an extra rod. I try to keep everything in the back, in the black pack. Uh, but I like this, having this here, that the strap will hold it don't get me wrong but i like to have this here just so it's a little extra security i know that it ain't going to try to drift off to the side anything like that it locks down when i'm tying or measuring a fish whatever it's it just it just works out perfect so anyways got the uh, ray marine dragonfly 7 i love this unit i've always used lorance uh, on <clears throat> my bass boat and stuff like that and I have fallen in love with the Ray Marine the the Dragonfly it's got an awesome down scan on it if you're not in the market spend a lot of money on a graph but you know you want something at least with your down scan but it's also got good 2d make sure you check out the uh, Ray Marine so anyways on to the Yak Attack Omega rod holder uh, I've had people ask me, why do I keep that there? Well, the reason why is I like throwing a Carolina rig a lot, Texas rig, stuff like that. So what I do is, is I like if I got to retie, if anybody throws a Carolina rig a lot knows you have to retie, so a lot, Texas rig, jig, whatever. I just sit it right over there, run my line down. It's my rods being held right there, and I can tie, make all my adjustments, all that. So makes it just just a little simpler uh, I don't I don't fish off the bottom like with live bait or not like that so I don't use it as a rod holder like that um, I've also thought about getting some put them in the back if I wanted to you know keep an extra couple extra rods they're a really great rod holder I love the fact that you know you can lock them in all that so and it fits bait casters and spinning rods so if I'm tying on a drop shot or something like that I want my rod just kind of sit still perfect I ain't got to worry about my eyes getting hung up in my net or any of that so that works out really good all right next let's get on to the junk drawer what everybody likes to talk about first off let me talk about this i got just a set of little clippers right here 
that uh, works really good. Keeps them, keeps it right there, out of my way. I ain't stepping on them, but also um, secured to something. So, so I just all I did was just tie it down through the nut or put it under the nut for the tray, and it just kind of secures there. You gotta get real tired or nothing like that. So, on to the junk drawer. I like to keep my numbers for the uh, tournament. So if I'm doing two or three tournaments in one time, I got them right there. Um, just kind of helps keep everything. And, and if I want to put some tools in there, they're in there as well. Uh, I actually, I've been cleaning out my kayak, going through, getting some stuff out. Some stuff got rusted. So I've just been cleaning everything up. Uh, missile baits, as always. Means the best soft plastics out there. A couple new baits playing around with. The, the Grinch by Jackal. Uh, and some frogs. Like I say, getting ready for the river and uh, try a few things, but I don't, actually I just cleaned this out. It really stays a mess to be quite honest with you. So, uh, but anyways, <laughs> it, it actually looks pretty clean. It'll be a wreck. Uh, I can take a picture of it after the James River turn we got coming up next weekend. It'll be a wreck. Um, got some scuffer plugs here. These actually are not scuffer plugs. These are, uh, what do you call it, like boots that go on the bottom of your chairs. I seen it on the, uh, Facebook, fide Facebook forum page. They do okay. Not really that impressed. During the summertime, anyways, I don't ever use them. I just I take them and, and put them up. But I just for the video's sake, I just put them in there just to show you. They go in really well. Um, but like I say, they do okay. They're not 100% watertight, uh, but they'll do all right. Got my fish grips. I normally try to keep it here. I'm actually wanting to get a make something here. I can put those in, put a couple of tools in, so I know that they're always right there. Uh, I actually extended my rope out. That way I can keep the fish in there. I tell you, a lot of people talk about fish jumping off the board uh, when they're measuring. A couple guys have told me this. It works really well. Is I like to get the fish, put them on the fish grips. Make sure you knot's real good. You don't want to lose knot. That's a no-no. Um, put them in the water, let them calm down for a little bit. While I'm getting my box out, while I'm getting my scale out, uh, my phone, getting everything set up. They're in the water chilling. I don't want to have to have them in the net. They're sitting right there. And uh, since I've been doing that, knock on wood, I have not had a fish jump off the board yet. Could happen tomorrow, I don't know. But it's been, uh, it's helped me out a whole lot. On to the back, back here. Got my hog trough holder on the uh, black pack. I got the tan color to kind of go along with the uh, bona fide color. Uh, I really love this. I used to use a milk crate and uh, James got one last year and I seen, you know, you can log it, you can put, I'm actually gonna go down to a smaller size boxes. Um, that way I can put more in here. Plus it's kind of hard with like the Bass Mafia to get that out. I love the Bass Mafia boxes. Keeps your tackle really dry. And it, like I say, just, it's just a great box. It's a good durable box. But my other stuff, my drop shots, my crawls, tricks, trick worms, uh, 10 inch worms, all that stuff. I'm gonna go to a smaller box so I can get a little more things there, more crankbait, stuff like that, because it, it does make it kind of tough uh, on this route here. So gonna be making some changes, some tackle changes. So you'll be seeing some of that coming up here soon. Best investment I have made for a kayak right here. Um, you can't, you cannot beat the Power Pole Micro. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. It's for night fishing. Um, a lot of the guys that, that chase the shad spawn at night, I'm telling you, I can pull right up on the bank, I can anchor down, and make casts down because when you're when you're fishing the shad spawn you know they're right on the bank so i can work in baits right on the bank i'm not moving boat waves coming in i'm not moving i'm staying right there and i just i just love it i never thought i would need a micro a power pole in my kayak and james was using it uh, i seen some some very big benefits to it especially on windy days i'm trying to the spinner baits up on point you can kind of get over on the shallow end and fish out this is actually the 10 footer i mean so i'm sorry not 10 footer. i got a 10 foot pole this is the eight footer um i got a 10 foot pole that i made but anyways guys i'm telling you it 
I've, I've seen some people talk about what's the biggest, the best investment you made for your kayak. That right there, that's the best investment. Um, if you do river fishing, that'll work out great for you. Hold you in place. Granted, yes, on the back, it'll probably push you around this side, but if you kind of get in a good little eddy where the water's calm and you're casting out to some other rocks and stuff like that, you can put that down. You will sit there, you'll be still, you won't move. If you need to tie when it's real windy, we all know kayaks get pushed around really easy. I know in bass boats, it got pushed around really easy. That makes it, that saves you a lot of time. I'm telling you, best investment I ever made. Uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about one more thing got going on here. Excuse the kitty litter box that I'm using to prop my trailer up. This is something that I've been working on right here. Just a, an insurance policy for your kill, your boat. It ain't duct tape, it ain't gorilla tape, it ain't it ain't none of that. So uh also don't pay no money to that. I don't need a that's from years ago, I don't need a sticker on it no more. Uh that I just know a lot of people be commenting on my YouTube channel, hey man, your inspection sticker's out. Don't need it no more on these trailers. Um anyways, stay tuned for this right here, guys. Something we got I think it's a lot of people are gonna like pulling up on a ramp. Uh, pushing up on some rocks, anything like that, protect your keel. You don't want to wear it out because that's the first thing it hits. A lot of your weight is pushing in on that as soon as it hits. So I'm telling you, it's a, it's. We're gonna have some stuff up soon about it. Um, comment down below if you if you want some more information on it. We've been tearing it out on other kayaks besides just the bona fide, so we can make sure that uh, it works on other brands as well. We've got a couple guys that we're putting them in the hands of, so. But anyways, guys, this is just my little setup on my 127. I have fallen in love with this kayak. I never thought I could fall in love with a boat. Believe me, I've had two skeeters. I've had, uh, I've rode in other bass boats. And this year I have been, I have I sold my bass boat and have gone fully into the kayak inside. And I just love this bona fide. Now, I'm a taller guy, I'm a bigger guy. So I just want to show you guys too, like my foot settings right here. It's getting dark out here, so hopefully y'all can see. Um, I got them back all the way. I mean, and I'm sitting comfortable in my seat. So you get over here, so maybe I can have a little bit better lighting. There we go. Um, I'm sitting further. I'm in a high position, but I got I got these back. I got a buddy, Chris, that is six foot four, something like that, and he can sit in it. They need to move forward just a little bit, but you still got room. So you can also put stuff up here. Uh, in the front, you know, a little box or a little bag or something. If you got like a worm bag or something, you just want to have up here, you know, you're going to be using all day. It's a perfect setup. So, anyways, guys, if you got any questions on anything that you have seen on my kayak, um, just comment down below or you can email us at oneobjectivebf at gmail.com. Also, we got our YouTube uh, giveaway we're doing. So please subscribe. You get entered into the contest. We're giving away a bunch of products from uh, Bassmasters Classic and some other of our sponsors' products. So uh, please, guys, go subscribe. We're, as soon as we hit a thousand, we're giving it away. So, anyways, guys, I hope you liked the video. Please hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe button, and please, as always, share with your friends. Guys, y'all have a great night. Talk to you later.